guys, Tucker here in uh, part two of the review. So we got the Shatari here, and we got this. Okay, what the heck is this? This was not in the movie, not in the comics, but they made it as a toy. It's a cosmic axe. What is the point to this? I, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get why they just decide to put these random weapons in here. Like, look. Oh, I think I... Oh, it's a shooting axe. It's a shooting axe. Now, that's not even... That hasn't been in anything. Anything besides this stupid toy. I am bothered by this. I'm going to just put this off of this way and not with this action figure. I just don't like this. Other... Younger kids than me might like it because they have no experience in comics. Okay, so now that that's over with, uh, let's uh, get to the Shatari. Now, I've reviewed the Shatari before. If you saw my Lego Avengers video, uh huh, you might saw that Shatari. It was one of my very first videos. I don't know what the heck that was. Um, but. Yeah, so he has this, uh, the helmet head and stuff. This is the Shatari gun. It's really cool. It shoots out cosmic, or whatever, balls. Not that kind of balls. Not that kind. It, it shoots out, like, energy. Those. Okay, whatever. Um, but... He has, here's the back. He's a very nice figure, very nice sculpted. Uh, the face could have been better, but I'm not very bothered by the fact that he doesn't have his mouth. Uh, space. But he, one thing you might not notice about the Shatar is they have six fingers and three feet. Yeah, they're not your average looking human. <laughs> Um, they're your average looking Shatari alien. So, yeah, he's really cool. I really recommend it if you're an Avengers fan, a Marvel fan, or just a Marvel movies fan. So, yeah, guys, I really recommend it. You should get it. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Sculpting. Sculpting. Sculpting!